Here's how to find the IP address or set the IP address on an Epilogue Laser Legend Series. You could either have this keypad, which is a newer version, or we could have this keypad. On this keypad, we're going to use a different set of buttons to find the IP address and set the IP address. So to find the IP address on the older keypad, you're going to push the go and pointer button at the same time. At the same time, then you're going to push the go button to get past the function menu again to get to the IP. This shows you the IP address numbers on an older keypad. Each of one of these squares represents a number. In the owner's manual, there will be a printed diagram of what each button shows. That's how you use the IP address or set the IP address and find the IP address on an older keypad. Once you've set the correct IP address, then you can push go and that will fast forward through each of the octets, get through the subnet mask, and then push go past the gateway and just pushing the green go button and go will then save the number. That's on an older keypad. On a newer keypad, you're gonna see a different set of numbers and buttons. On a newer keypad, you're gonna push the go and pointer button at the same time to get to the function menu. Once you've pressed those, you're gonna push the go button, just like in the other keypad to get through the IP. Here, you're going to also push the go button to get through each of the sections. On the newer keypad, the benefit is you see the numbers on each of the buttons. The older keypad, you have to look at the diagram. Once you've done that, you can push the go button to get through the sections as needed, to set each number as needed. And then once finished, you're going to push the go button to save that to the machine. That's how you find and set the IP address on an old keypad or a new keypad of the epilogue legend series.